But I'm here to tell you that there's only one person who can save, all right? We live in a secular society led by people that call themselves progressives, all right? And growing up, as a child growing up in the 50s and the 60s, we lived under the red threat. We realized that communism was real, that the communists could come, we could be at war, we could have nuclear. Remember when, when I was going to school, every school was like a bomb shelter. I don't know why, you know, schools is bomb shelters, but those things would blow over. Um, but they put civil defense food in the bottom of the, at least they did in our schools. I don't know about here in Oklahoma. But they did in our school, and so these were places you could go if there was a nuclear war and you could get food and water there, and they stockpiled it in all of these uh, schools. And so we lived under the red threat. When communism, the Berlin Wall came down, everybody said, we won. And secularism came. And secularism and communism are the same thing. They're godless. They're antichrist. And so now we have the secularists that have taken control of our country. They have taken control of Washington. They have taken control of our city governments, our local governments, our school boards all across the country. And we have just sat back and it's happened and we haven't even realized it's happened. Now you say, well, Franklin, you know, your father wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't be, he wouldn't get onto these subjects. Wait a second. My father, when he was going to school, they had a Bible in school. When he was going to school, they had the Ten Commandments on the wall. When he was going to school, you could pray in school. And the teachers would lead in those prayers. Our country has changed. And we've got to take a stand. We cannot back up. We cannot run. We cannot retreat. And let me tell you something. Church, the church needs to get involved in politics. Now, I'm not talking about Baptists or Republicans and Tea Party. I don't even know who they are. But I have no confidence that any of these politicians or any party is going to turn this country around. The only hope for this country is for men and women of God is to stand up and take a stand. Okay? We need, we need the church, we need Christians running for school boards. And let me tell you something, you know how important the school board job is? And so many times people don't even know who's running for the school board. We need men and women of God who take this local election serious and so that we can take back these various offices and have men and women of God who believe in the Bible, who stand on the word of God. And let's send to Washington men and women who believe in God and stand on the word of God and his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, who are not afraid. America has changed and it's not coming back unless the church takes a stand. There are storms that are coming. And we find ourselves in these storms. And many times, we as the church, we run. And we run to the wrong place. You see, Jesus is in the boat. All we have to do is call him. Call on his name. But the secularist and the humanist, nah. You mention the name of Christ, they jump all over you. I get jumped on all the time. I don't care. I really don't. I gave my life to Christ 